Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today, well, as you can see, we're burning off some of this brush finally. If you remember, there was a huge pile right there that I think I stacked that pile on one of the first videos I did out here. And there was another pile back there and we've got it all reduced to just a real small brush fire. And so it's really nice to see all of this being cleared up. Also, these woods out here, that's another old field. We're standing in front of the barn right now and that's another old field out there that's also completely overgrown. So I took my tractor out there and actually cleared out some paths just by bullying my way through the woods, if you will, with the tractor and the bush hog and trying to fight all those vines off too. But that's not what we're working on today. We'll take a closer look at some of that another day. I'll show you what we're trying to do today and why I'm holding this tool and uh, see how much we can get accomplished. All right, so as you can see over here, we got all the ivy that was all over the side of the house. We got all of that off, and these scars that are left by the ivy are really interesting to see up there. It's just where the paint got torn off when the ivy came down, but uh, it's kind of cool. It almost looks like the ivy's still there. And another thing that's interesting is how there's a line right there where the top of the house, I guess, wasn't painted or was maybe, I can see some white paint up there. So maybe it was painted earlier and uh, this side down here was painted later on in life. But what we are going to take a closer look at on this video are the additions to the house. Now, I think you guys have seen this from the roof and I talked about this a little bit. This is, was a room right here that was an addition and the addition dates back to, I think, the 40s or 50s, maybe. As you can see, there's asbestos tile that was on the side of it. And, uh, well, this is just another case where they just didn't build it like they used to. The heart of the 1880 structure is pretty good, but these additions are, well, on the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get in here. We're going to cue up the time-lapse music, and I'm going to see about getting some of this stuff out of here and start cleaning up this area. I was sinking there for a minute. But I'm going to start clearing up this area. I actually have already started just a little bit, and this is some of the tin that I've taken out, and I'm just stacking it here for now. This pile right here is the questionable pile as to whether it's any good or not. And this will be the good 10 pile that we'll keep for sure. So let's go ahead and cue up the time-lapse music and let me get in there and see how much of this I can get knocked out. So you guys hear all that noise? Oh, I see. I think that's getting ready to fall right there. I just saw it move. I kept hearing all this noise in there and I was looking at it trying to figure out what was... Yep, there it is. That was it. That was it. Those shingles are getting ready to slide. Couldn't figure out what that was at first. Couldn't tell if something was moving around up there or what, like something living or maybe something not living. You never know. In this case, it was shingles. <laughs> that was kind of creepy for a minute. All right, let's get back to it. For real. We'll get back to it. Can I get back to it now? Okay. I think so.
All right, so we're making pretty good progress getting rid of this room here or getting rid of the ruins of this room. And I just had to take a, a little bit of a break just now, but I saw something kind of interesting and I'm filming with GoPro, so I can't zoom in and show it to you guys like usual, but you can actually see some of the outside of the house right there under there because right there is the original outside wall of the house to the 1880 structure before all of this addition was added on. And there's some kind of interesting things. Here's a, an old bathroom in there. There's a uh, old gas, an old gas heater right here. And uh, there's the vent for it and the heater's actually right here, if I can get it out. This kind of interesting. Come. Well, it doesn't want to come out. I thought that was the vent for it. I don't see how it would vent on there unless there's something missing. Oh, it's still got a gas line attached to it right there. But that's kind of neat to see. And there's a, there's a bed over there. Let's walk very, very carefully this way. We gotta watch. Let's see if I can find something to step on. We gotta watch because we don't want all of this to fall down on us. But uh, it's interesting to see this. Maybe you guys will be able to see the outside wall of the house a little bit better now. I'll see if I can't stick the camera up there. All right, so that's, that's kind of interesting. It'll be even more interesting to see once we get all of this off of the side of the house and can see that, uh, see that original construction a little bit better. Uh, but it's kind of interesting also, I think, to just realize that this, uh, this pile of rubble here represents not only an old room that has fallen in on this house, uh, but also this is someone's bedroom at some point. There's a, there's a bed right there. And uh, so this is not only an old room, but also represents a piece of someone's life where people would have, someone would have grown up in this room and, uh, you know, memories would have been made, that sort of thing. And uh, now it's all just on the ground. So that's kind of the tragic side of it, even though it is just an addition to the house and doesn't particularly matter to the to the original 1880s build and also this weird green paint on the walls so I'm just kind of watching out but while we're taking a break here I'm gonna show you guys something else and I actually found this found this on another video and know what it is now so let's go over to the shed all right, so there's my scrap pile. I still got to move it over to the uh, to the main scrap pile, but that's where I was cleaning out the shed the other day. You guys obviously saw that. And over here we've got one of these previously unidentified objects, and I got some great suggestions as to what it was, but now I know for sure what it is. This was a 105 millimeter recoilless rifle shell, and I think that's that's pretty interesting pretty interesting find out here on the old farm all right so now that we know what that piece was it's time to oh you know what before I do that actually I was gonna say it's time to get back to work over there but it's not time quite yet so I gotta walk over here and tend to the fire a little bit I just looks like I just kind of let it go out on me we gotta just feed it feed it some more of this stuff so it'll it'll burn out by the time it gets ready to well, I get ready to leave. Get on there and start burning. Ow, darn it. Vines, they're still getting me.
now that that's doing its thing, let's get back and see how much more we can get accomplished with this room. Everybody, well, I've got to call it a day today. As you can see, we actually got a lot of work done and I'm slap wore out. I actually did stuff earlier before I even started this, but uh, I'm pretty proud of this progress. I mean, getting this room off has been one of the things that's pretty high on my to-do list. Uh, for one reason, just so it doesn't pull on the house anymore and it lets air flow through here and doesn't just hold moisture to the house to keep the rot at bay. Thankfully, the rest of the house is in much better shape than this room. We just want to keep it that way. But we'll be back at it. I'll probably be back out here tomorrow at it, honestly, finishing tearing this down. So I'll bring you guys back with me, but uh, I'm proud of our progress today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.